Hey guys, Crafty and Carnivores here. I, I wanted to vlog. I'm using my my phone, so I hope the sound is okay. I do have my earbuds. Uh, so just went to the doctor finally about the menopause. So I wanted to vlog before I forget all of that. But while it's all fresh, so I feel like I've been in doctor's offices all day today, probably because we were at the orthodontist, and then I had to rush home and. Uh, Drop my daughter off and then head to my doctor's appointment, which was in a different town. So I'm all over the place today. My, my uh, steps are terrible today because <laughs> I've been in the car most of the day. Okay, so I have had like a 10 pound weight gain since January. And unfortunately, that is part of menopause and nothing you can do about it. So she right now, she's just recommending that I take some over-the-counter stuff like black cohosh for... And hot flashes and estrogen um, for like the mood and she said it does have black cohosh in it too some other stuff but right now she's not recommending any kind of hormone therapy or anything and if we do get to that point uh, she wants me uh, she made it clear that you can that you should only do that for a short term because it does increase your chance of getting cancer so that right now and then I Still have a little bit of issue with the rash when you know like when I go out in the sun it gets inflamed so she's giving me some steroid topical steroids just to use short term to get that on there so yeah that wasn't it's not great news to, I mean she just verified what what I thought and it does make me feel better to know that I'm not doing anything wrong and that's just part of, of um, going through this and she said you know it eventually it should catch up and you should your weight should level out but you know I told her I did that 40 hour fast and lost three three of the six pounds I gained in, in May and I still kept that three pounds off so I feel good about that I've been OMAD most days you know not every day and I'm not doing it on purpose I'm just listening I'm doing better at listening to my body tell me that it's hungry or not hungry so I'm proud of that that's definitely a non-skill victory for me um, Still having like some keto treats here and there. Usually I like a homemade thing because like I made some for the reunion and then I forgot to take them. Some of them are going to go in the trash, but some of them I actually wanted to eat. But I eat it with my meal, so I'm not like snacking throughout the day or anything like that. I mean, eating my meal and then having that little something sweet. I am still having iced coffee most days with like a tea, usually just a teaspoon of heavy whipping cream uh, and then the vanilla cream sweet drops I really like those in it so having that so it's not like I water fast when I'm fasting or intermittent fasting or extended fast or anything I'm still having stuff like that and like element flavored element so um, yeah I haven't done another extended fast it's only been like two weeks I can't remember exactly when that was it was the week before last so um, and I haven't been at a, a place where I feel like I could do it again. I've gone like 22 hours and 24 hours and stuff like that, but that does not affect my weight at all. I have to, I, it looks like I have to do an extended fast if I want to lose any of the weight. So, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to pressure myself to do that. I'm just going to try to let it happen naturally. I would like to do them a couple of times a month, um, but you know, I need to, Baby steps. I know I need to do baby steps. I, I accomplished a 40 hour, so I'm proud of that. And I did it with iced coffee and Element and, uh, you know, so I'll probably continue to have to do that for for whoever, for however long. I have no idea. But that's where I'm at right now. Um, just been busy. It's been busy. Uh, summer, we had, like I said, we had a family reunion and I showed like the desserts that I made. <laughs> forgot to take them. I was so mad because I know there's some diabetics there. As far as I know, there's no one keto, but um, you know, I just wanted to have some options for the diabetics, but I don't even know if any of the diabetic, I know one for sure diabetic was not there. Um, and then some others that I, I know have issues with diabetes were eating the sweets. So, you know, I don't know if anybody would have eaten them anyway, but the cupcakes are going in the trash. I'm not interested in those at all. I was kind of proud of how the frosting, like, you know, made like some coffee flavored frosting and stuff. You know, I was like, I, I wish somebody could have at least looked at it. <laughs> oh, well, 
Oh, oh well. But I did have a little grocery haul today. We went to, because um, we have to go, like, drive 30 minutes to get to the orthodontist. And um, they have a really small HEB. But that's the only HEB I know of that's anywhere close to me. And uh, last time I went, I was really disappointed. But I, I was like, well, I have time. I'm going to go over there. And there was actually a thrift store next door. And we went to it first and found two expensive jeans I always look at jeans because you never know what what they're gonna have but um, they had a pair of two pairs of expensive jeans one for me and one for my daughter they just happen to have these two really nice jeans and they just happen to be in our sizes four dollars so I got them I don't care about wearing uh, somebody else's jeans take them home and wash them they're, they're fine but what caught my eyes they had ribbons in the in the window and I was like oh they got ribbons that was their little workstation. They did have some ribbons, and I did get some, but most of it was trash that I wouldn't want. But we got, what else did we get? I found a hardcover book, uh, an old Nora Roberts hardcover book that I didn't have. And, you know, you can find things like that. I can't remember what else we found. Just a few things like, like that. I always look at the crafting stuff because people will donate crafting stuff and you can sometimes get like really good ribbon and stuff really cheap so I'm not afraid to go in there and look for stuff like that but then we went to HEB and they did have some good meat, meat cells so I got a few things I got a four pack of New York strips and they were nine something for four of them they're not like super thick or anything but they're not like tiny thin either um, and then leg quarters I got a package of leg quarters for like 350 um, huge leg quarters I think there were two of them in there and what else oh some bacon it's just the 12 ounce packages of bacon um, but it was two for six and it's the low sodium which means that it's sugar free too for some reason the low sodium is always sugar free uh, what else was there I, I can't remember but I'll show that grocery haul it hopefully oh some frozen chicken wings I never buy frozen chicken wings they're just plain nothing added to them or anything but they were half price normally ten dollars and they were five something so, or almost half price um, what else I can't remember if there was anything else but I was I was happy about those meat cells and they had some other stuff other stuff on sale but that's what I got I don't need a ton of stuff I still have a lot of stuff in the freezer so but I want to keep, you know, I want to rotate it out and that those leg quarters need to be cooked by tomorrow. That I think that was part of the reason they were really on sale. And, but I have more time with the steaks. But, you know, I'll freeze some of it, cook some of it, and then rotate it. But I want to keep, you know, I'd love to be able to keep a couple of weeks worth of meat in the freezer at all times. Because you never know what's going to happen. And let's see. What else have I done? I'll try maybe show a little bit of the family reunion. I don't think most of those people are on Facebook and stuff. I don't think they would care about me showing any pictures. I didn't take a whole lot of pictures. I've gotten bad, but I did take some videos and some pictures more than what I've done in the past. It's, I used to take tons of pictures, and I was the person that was always walking around taking everybody's picture and video and stuff. And then I got out of the habit, but I did do more this year. And that it was it was good it was good to visit with a lot of those people but it was also really sad because it was my it's my husband's family and my sister-in-law the last few years had uh, was in charge of it and so you know of course we lost her this year so it was really really hard to be there without her but like I said it was like happy times but sad times too all at the same time but that's what I did Saturday and I was so exhausted it's it's over an hour drive and just being around all those people and visiting and uh, you know being on the go it just exhausts me so when I got home I was so tired and I tried to go to sleep at like nine something which is super early for me and but I, I've been having trouble falling asleep no matter how tired I am once I'm once I'm asleep I sleep good but my average sleep I've been looking at my watch and it's been like four to five and a half hours so it, that is not doing me any favors either i'm still keeping up with the jogging i've been jogging like uh three times a week at least it's been several days now i jogged once this week i still have time i'm, I'm counting it from monday and, and it's just wednesday so i've only jogged once so far 
but oh, Sunday I woke up with sinus headache bad, and Monday too. After the reunion, like Saturday night, I started feeling like the sinus and allergies kicking in, but it stormed really bad Saturday. And also before we left, we always have to clean the community building and people were sweeping and some dust was stirring up and I think that was part of it too. Uh, but yeah, nothing, nothing planned right now. Anything else going on, it, it should calm down a little bit, hopefully. I've been doing doing a lot of videos, not only on this channel, but the other one. I, I and I have some orders that I'm working on, and and so the closer it gets, like summer, I I start uh, kicking in gear, getting ready for homecoming season because August it starts. So you guys will, you know, I'm still going to try to put a lot of videos out because I need a lot of hours. Um, so you're going to see me posting all kinds of videos, and I'm just really need a lot of hours on this channel but I'm doing good on subscribers but um, yeah I'll be on my other channel a lot too doing lives probably a lot and you won't see me a whole lot uh, you know I'll try to join in on lives and try to watch people's videos here and there but it's gonna be less and less and then sometimes I can watch the videos you know while I'm crafting or something on my echo but I can't I can't comment or like or anything well I think Maybe I can like on there. I can't remember. But I'll watch, you know, or kind of listen while I'm working. Like I said, I can't comment and stuff. So I will probably, be, you know, the closer it gets. And then all through November, till November, I will be MIA a lot in, in this world. I mean, I'll still be there, but you just won't see as much of me or hear as much from me. So it's not you. It's me. <laughs> Okay, I got to get out of here, and so I'm going to cut this off, and I may do more blog, blog, blogging, blogging, and add to it, and I may just put this up as a bi-weekly blog. I don't know. Thanks, guys. I will catch you all on the next one. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and happy eating.